2021, he was at Oklahoma. 22 and 23, he was at USC. He's played 37 games, started 33, missed two. This season played 12, started 12, no misses. Very good personal character, uh, good supporter of family, and he's got a good team around him as well. You know, despite all the accolades, he does stay grounded, um, really humble for everything he's accomplished. Because he hates to lose and does whatever he needs to do to win. Really hard worker, um, and, and teammates love this guy. Great reviews from players that he's played with, both at USC and Oklahoma. Maybe the best ever spot for a number one overall pick. That's what I'm saying. The Bears' talent is different than any other number one overall pick's talent. Very good athlete can escape and get out of trouble and then uh, make plays down people. Uh, really jumps off the tape and uh, one of the more rare players I've seen in all my days of scouting. He's you know, rare in terms of a lot of things in the passing game, you know, the arm strength, the accuracy, uh, high level, uh, excellent. In my opinion, uh, what stands out for me is just the instincts and just the ability to make plays when things come off schedule. The quarterback is walking into the best situation of any number one overall pick I can remember. This is the prototype new age quarterback that's a high level competitor. Flashes of rare talent with his arm, able to make a throw from multiple arm angles at all three levels. He can play within the pocket or out the pocket. There you can touch and accuracy on all three levels. Dangerous runner who get the first down with his feet consistently. Uh, this guy comes in, he will be an eventual top five QB. Like, I can't think of one in the history of the sport that's probably been better. I feel pretty good right now. Uh, obviously, the top 30 was huge. Um, you know, the, the, the draft, not draft, but combine, it's a little tighter, so they're, they're testing you and trying to figure out you know, who you are and all of that. So the top 30 was big for me. Gave us gave, you know, a bunch of notes, ideas of how the offense is. Verbiage, drops, uh, cadence, and, and, and all the things that, you know, that really matter. Breaking right the huddle, getting in the huddle, being able to communicate, um, and how those things go. Um, and so right now, you know, I feel pretty good, obviously. You know, you know, we go out here today, I'm gonna have a few you know, mess up probably and things like that, working, you know, to, to, to eliminate those uh, as fast as possible. Um, but, you know, you need those things to, to grow and, you know, progress throughout the throughout the time and years and, and things like that. So uh, I'm excited, but, um, you know, I'm, I, I feel pretty good right now. Uh, diving into the playbook, um, getting to a point where um, there's certain things that I can, you know, teach some of the guys that, um, you know, maybe, you know, it's, it's John Jack or Rome that they're not understanding that I may understand. So being able to, to, to teach is always big because uh, it's also another way for you to learn. Um, it also shows you how much that you know. Um, and so uh, I, I would say those and then and then just being around the guys, enjoying their time together, uh, getting on the field, executing. setbacks that I encountered lit a fire in me. It started my journey. So five wide for Caleb Williams, and there is the touchdown! The journey really started when I was 10, and the season ended, and I had to turn my equipment in. And there's one thing that I vividly remember is telling my dad in the car ride home that this is what I wanted to do for my career. I wanted to be a football player. I wanted to be a quarterback. I loved it. I loved everything about it. To sheer joy. Well, the secondary saw the fumble too, so they started to move towards the line of scrimmage. The Williams sends on to Jones Allen. And it's going for Branch. Hands off. Touchdown, USC. My team and I just lost a national championship, and I didn't get the chance to play. My coach told me I was too small. That night, a fire ignited in me. That night, I decided to play quarterback and not only be playing quarterback, but to be the best quarterback. Hurries it up. You think it can't wait to throw it down out of bounds? Eyes to your point down the field. 
Williams was looking there, closed off. Comes back. Well, that head is on a swivel. It is really impressive. And now a touchdown. I wanted to impact the game. I wanted to share the ball with all my teammates. And if you know me and my dad, very plan based. We stayed up all night putting together a plan. Oh, count here. Caleb Williams takes the play clock down to one. And then he's got Taj Washington for another. In his years, as you look at it here, Spencer. Just a beautiful move here late. And then he shows you some power. To... And the journey slash plan went like this. 5.30 a.m., breakfast club workouts. We also had 6.30 in the p.m. Lift, running, conditioning, getting bigger, stronger, and faster. We had nutritionists, sleep patterns, sports, sports psychologists, coaching experts, and learning and playing the game. The more I learned, the more I wanted. Austin Jones in the backfield, and here goes Caleb Williams. Go deep, young man. Off the edge, pressure going deep. Long for Rice! But the path hasn't always been easy. And this is me speaking to the 11-year-old out there who's watching right now, who was told you're too small. Like they told me. Go out there, show them how big your heart is. Got the sidelines, a little slot blitz pressure. Plenty of time for Williams, setting up shop, looking long, got his man. To the seventh grader, who was passed over on the team like I was, Use that adversity to ignite your passion, like I did. To the ninth grader out there who no one believes can make varsity, you can if you believe. Here's the play fit. Williams, off his back foot, caught. For the 10th grader losing in the, in the championship game, but had belief that we were gonna come back and win, down 20 in the first half. Always believe that there's one more Hail Mary up your sleeve. Back to work, the job isn't done. To the college freshman who was fighting for a chance to contribute and get on the field with your brothers, your time is coming. Keep going. Your journey will be your own. Just keep believing and keep pursuing your goals. If you're willing to put in the work and surround yourself with positive people, you can achieve anything. As a boy, Rome would spend summers at his grandparents' dairy farm and work alongside his grandpa Wayne. I remember the four-wheelers. I remember the cows, the hay, the barn, the tractors, also the hard work. I really modeled my work ethic after my grandpa. He worked for so long on that farm, you know, to feed his family, to, to make ends meet. I and mean, it wasn't always pretty, you know, especially on that farm, but uh, he continued to do so. I was at work and uh, I got the call just said he'd been in an accident. He doesn't remember what happened, and apparently there was no one that witnessed it. And he just went over the handlebars. He landed on his head. He was wearing a helmet, but I think just due to the sheer impact of the speed that he was traveling, the helmet, unfortunately, wasn't able to protect him. He suffered a traumatic brain injury. He's legally blind at this point. I think it stopped everything, really. He wasn't able to farm after that. He's created this opportunity for me through all his hard work. It's something that every second of the day, I try and emulate that mindset. With the ninth pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Rome Odunze. It's Ryan Pulse from the Bears, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you, man? Good, you ready to roll? Oh yeah, let's do it. This is gonna be fun, man, it's gonna be really fun. Uh -oh. 